Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a spend the day with me vlog. So hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications. So it's Saturday and I'm just about to put away the shopping from uh, my mum's shopping adventure. <laughs> so I've got one, two, three bags of shopping to put away so I'm gonna get on with that now. Oh we've got some toilet roll here. How many packs in here? Whoa 16! 16 rolls of toilet roll and it's quilted toilet roll for extra cushiony softness. <laughs> right I can see bread. Ah oh, she's got my bread. I've had real trouble getting this bread recently so this is the uh, Warburton's wholemeal. So I mean she's got I put them in the freezer as well, so I'll leave one out, one in the freezer. Um, got some mashed potato. Okay, there's more bread. This is my mum's medium sliced white bread. Um, what have got in here? There's some bananas. Some coffee. Oh, some clover. I've turned the turn the kettle on by mistake no stop it stop it um we've got a giant cucumber it's huge um some radishes oh, spring onions <clears throat> what are these reduced now 20 pence for a little bag of apple slices some edam cheese oh i love a bit of edam i have to say an onion else in this bag oh and a, <laughs> a giant carrot a giant cucumber and a giant carrot there's something else in here as well oh what's that oh it's another carrot yeah <laughs> anyway that's that this is the um the freezer bag hold on what lurks in this bag here oh my this is not oh god i'm not gonna i'm sorry i have to leave that over there what oh. it's obviously meat Looks like chicken, chicken thighs. Oh, I'm a vegetarian, hence that I won't go near that. She can put that away. Got some milk. Uh, I think that's probably meat as well in the deli. Ham, gammon ham. Um, more ham. Oh, cheesy slices. A empty carrier bag. What is that? Oh, that looks vile. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. She gets these like, <clears throat> what are they called, pasta salads, where you know you go around the little bits and fill your own. She's literally filled that so much it's coming out the packaging. Look, you're supposed to get it where it just fills up the pot, but she's literally gone a bit crazy there and just filled the whole thing so it's spilling over the edge. Is anything else in there? No. <sighs> okay, so all the shopping has been put away now, which is good. I'm um, just about to jump in the shower and then me and Nathan are going to go around the corner shop just to get some bits and pieces. Um, also, I need to go to the bank machine as well because uh, I need to get some money out. Um, yeah, I've been quite productive this morning. I'm quite proud of myself. I've motivated myself to get on with it. Uh, my filming, that is. Uh, I, I do struggle. I've said this recently. I do struggle to motivate myself to film and... You know, I can't kind of have to like push myself to actually, you know, film. But this morning I've been quite productive. I have filmed one, two, three. I think I've filmed about three videos, which is good. I've also done some YouTube work. So um answering comments, you know, putting videos on and putting all the links and tags in, sharing them out, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, I'm I'm you know quite proud of myself for doing some YouTube stuff this morning. Um I will be filming a little bit more this afternoon. Uh, I've got an idea for a video which is going to be really fun to film so I'm looking forward to do that and it is for this channel so uh, yeah I'm going to film that. Um, also today hair dyeing yeah hair dyeing is going to happen my my grey roots are going to be gone. Um, <laughs> they need to go honestly I mean they don't look as bad in this light but take my word for it it's really bad and it's starting to get like Instead of just being a little bit, it's quite a lot and it's going lower and yeah, it's got to be done. Uh, so Nathan's going to help me very kindly by dyeing my hair for me. 
Um, tonight we have got games night, which I'm really looking forward to, having a little bit of fun. Uh, we've got three games planned. We're going to be a bit old school with a board game called Ludo. Um, we've also got a new game, which Nathan got me for Christmas, called uh, Making Christmas. And it is, of course, based on the brilliant film that I'm now obsessed with, Nightmare Before Christmas. I think it's um, like a card game, maybe. I don't know, something like Snap. Very similar to that. I don't know. But we're going to be playing that. And also, of course, a Mario Kart on the Switch. Which, come on, let me win a couple of races, please. <laughs> so we're going to keep a tally of who wins most games. But I, I know now. I'm predicting, like Mystic Meg, that Nathan's going to win. Because he always beats me at games. Um, we're both quite competitive as well. So uh, it should be fun. Um, <laughs> so we've got that tonight. I want to do some reading. I'm reading a fantastic book at the moment. Actually... I'm very lucky with my books lately. I've read some really, really good, like, four or five-star reads. Um, so, at the moment, I've got two books on the go. I've got an audio book and a physical copy book. So, the physical copy book, I'm nearly finished. I'm, like, that close to finishing, like, 20, 30 pages, and I'll be done, I think. So good. Uh, it's called The Circus Train, and it is a historical kind of romance, kind of, yeah, war-based story. There's so much in it. Like, there's so many bits and pieces going on but it's just so good it is majestic there is a bit of magic involved as well because obviously with the circus vibes and that so i really loving that book and on audiobook i'm listening to spare by prince harry now i know this is kind of controversial some people are like Ugh, how could you you know read that or listen to that and some people are like, oh cool i'm listening to that it's a real kind of you know split thing so let me know in the comments section if you are also reading it or planning on reading it or listening to it um i have to say i'm like six or seven chapters in and i'm really enjoying it it's very hard hitting it's very emotional and i i don't know like i've been on the fence a little bit you know over the last few years with the whole kind of megan and harry thing i, I am a royalist so it's kind of like mm, conflicting views and opinions but i've got to be honest i really enjoyed the netflix series that they did and i'm loving this book it's just it's so it's so good. Like, it really makes you feel something. And to me, if you're reading a book or listening to a book, if it makes you feel something, then that's got to be a good thing. I think he's, you know, he's been through a lot. And I think to hear him, he actually does the, like, audio book. He reads it out. So I assumed when I, I got it that it was going to be like a voice actor reading it. But it's actually Prince Harry. It's kind of surreal. It's like you're having a one-to-one -one session. Like, he's just sitting there having a cup of tea and telling you about his life and you're listening. It's really weird. Um, but very good. Um, so yeah, I'm really lucky at the moment. Two of my books, as I say, I'm thoroughly enjoying at the moment. So yeah, a bit of reading, a bit of filming, do this hair dyeing. But the first thing um, I've got to do now is jump in that shower. Um, so yeah, really, I shouldn't be washing my hair before I dye it because you put the hair dye on to dry hair. But my hair, where I've had it tied up since like last night, it's got very knotty and stuff. Look, you can, ow ow um yeah it's got very knotty and stuff and when you're doing the hair dye it makes it worse trying to put it on when it's all knotty so i said i'm gonna have a shower obviously wash my my body and of course doing my hair and i'm gonna put extra conditioner on just to make it a little bit more softer and then comb it through get all those knots out as best i can um and then i quickly dry it and then do the dyeing part so yeah, that is the plan. So enjoy spending the day with me. I'm not going out, out. Obviously, we're going around the shop and stuff, but I'm not going into town or anything like that. Um, so yeah, anyway, enjoy spending the day with me. And don't forget, please subscribe to my channel. My channel is very slowly but surely growing. Um, you know, it'll go up a few, then lose a few subs, then up a few. You know, I'd love to just keep it growing, keep it going up, up, up. As Yaz sang, the only way is up. So please subscribe. Um, that, you know, it means a lot to me. So I'd love it if you did. <laughs> right, shower time it is. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm just standing in my garden. I really wanted to show you what the sky looks like, which sounds really random and weird, I know. But it just looks so beautiful. We went out for a little walk and also to get like some bits and pieces from the shop, right? And I just happened to look up at the sky and I was thought, wow, like it looks so cool, like really atmospheric and kind of creepy. So yeah, I just wanted to show you, see what you think. I love the way like the trees look as well. It all looks a bit kind of eerie and creepy. Look at that. It's kind of like dark blue grey kind of tint. I don't know. I think it's going to be a storm. I really do. But I could be wrong. But anyhow. So yeah, we've got all our bits and pieces that we need. And now 
it is time for hair dyeing yes so we're gonna go upstairs now and yeah get the hair dye and get that done get rid of these gray roots okay so this is the hair dye that we're gonna use I always use the same one people always say to me randomly what hair dye do you use this is the hair dye that I use so it's shorts cloth live intense color um, in number 99 deep black um, so as you can see it should go that color which is pretty similar to the color I've got obviously um, but because I haven't dyed it for a while obviously as I say my gray roots are coming through and also my hair has gone kind of what parts of it have gone kind of really light brown so yeah this is the color that I use um, I've got an old towel that I'm going to put around me and an old like jumper also this is going to be <laughs> <laughs> embarrassing I've bought um what is it a disposable poncho the other day for like a pound in millets who do all the camping stuff um, and basically I'm going to put that over me as well to stop like obviously when it you know the hair dye is going on and when we're rinsing it off like just to stop it going on my skin because my skin is super sensitive blah 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 so got the hair dye got the towel this is an old shower curtain we're just going to place on the floor so when we're doing it in case any of the obviously it's black so uh, in case any of it drips down doesn't go onto the floor it will just go onto the um, old shower curtain so yeah wish me luck okay so the hair dye is on i've got my poncho on i do look a bit of an oddball i've also put a little bit too much pseudo creme on uh, my face today look at it <laughs> i put it on my face so like obviously the, the dye doesn't stain my skin because i have had it in the past where it goes all over my face and it's like ah. um but yeah i think i put a little bit too much on but it's all good it'll wipe off but yeah it is currently doing its thing and setting and I, I can definitely say safely that I think the grey roots are going to go, which is always a good thing. So, um, we're just going to let it set for a little bit longer and then the dreaded rinse off. I think that's my worst thing. I hate, I hate it because the water goes in my eyes and I turn into an eight year old and be like, oh, I've got water in my eyes. Oh. But anyway, so it's got to be done. Rinse it off. Um, and then I'll probably just towel dry it. I don't think I can be bothered to sit and blow dry it all again, but, um, yeah so that's where that's where we're at i've just been doing some filming as well while this is setting um i'm filming a video it's it's gonna be so fun it's i've done part one it's a video that's inspired by a youtuber that we watched called ashens and he does like lots of things about old 80s toys and 90s toys and all different things really like magazines from back in the day and it's just really funny and he also done a video recently well recently ish um where he done like fake lego fake transformers fake like 80s toys and basically inspired me to want to go and film a video quite similar so obviously i shouted him out in the video just in case he'd ever watch it which he probably wouldn't because he's got like over a million subs you never know right um but yeah so it's basically i've got fake lego i've got this fake robot which is a three-in-one robot these are from wilco by the way and this is the local shop i actually really like this one though this is super cute <laughs> uh, there's even like a little cash register inside it's super cute but yeah so that's them two they're both from wilco's they're their own kind of lego brand called blocks um and then from poundland i got this uh, fake transformer in like red and gold and this one's called trambot 360 <laughs> um, defenders of the zone road warriors total extreme action and yeah basically like a fake transformer turn into a car and then back into the robot -y thing and anyway so that is what we're doing so i filmed as i say the intro part while this is doing its thing after the rinse off and the dry uh, me and Nathan are going to make them. I say me and Nathan, it'll probably end up just being him. I'm going to try, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I haven't made Lego for many, many years. Um, but yeah, so that is what we are doing. And um, hopefully, uh, you know, the grey hairs will be gone. <sighs> okay, so that was, that was stressful. <laughs> but we've done it. So as you can see, my hair is now very black. The grey roots have gone. Oh, got very red cheeks. But yeah, I feel a lot better knowing that it's been done. <sighs> so we are just now doing the uh, second part of the um, the video with the fake Lego and stuff. So I'm going to tie my hair up like that. And then let's do it. 
Okay, everyone. So it did take us longer than we thought it would, <laughs> but it's all done. It didn't help that some of the pieces, like they were really stiff to get in. But anyway, just quickly showing you, I've just filmed the other part of the actual video I was doing, so that's all done. But just quickly showing you here on the vlog, um, how cute is this little store? Look, it's absolutely adorable. Um, so the coloring's really nice, loving that pink, especially. Pink and yellow go well together. And look, if you look inside the store, you can see there's my little figure. I made her. I put her together and I made him as well, even though he's looking the other way. But yeah, he's got his little cash register there and stuff. So really, really cool. Really, really happy um, with this. Nathan done really well. I tried to help him and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. But I did make the two people. That is my claim to fame with that. Then we've got the robot. He's actually bigger than I thought. Um, Hold on, just stand him up there. There, yeah, he's he's bigger than I thought, and he moves and everything. His legs move, his arms move, and it's all good. So, um, yeah, he's pretty cool. Hello there, hello. <laughs> um, and then yeah, we've got the transformer. Who's <laughs> yeah, Nathan did turn him into a car. Then I've transformed him out of being a car, but I don't think I've done it properly. But anyway, it is what it is. But yeah, that is a transformer. So that was quite fun, even though, as I say, it did take longer than was expected. I've got to tidy up now because there's all bits of Lego on the floor. And there's something really horrible and evil about standing on Lego. It really hurts. So I'm going to tidy all this up. Um, my hair, let me show you. I know it's drying really strangely because I didn't bother, like, drying it properly. But, yeah, you can see it is very dark, very black. So it's worked. Hold on, let me take it out of the hairband there. Yeah, it's gone a bit odd when i when i don't like dry my hair like properly and style it it looks a bit bizarre um but yeah that is um all done all dyed nice and shiny and black and yeah so that is good right i'm going to tidy this up and i'll see you in a bit okie dokie so the time is now 25 past eight and i'm just waiting for my dinner to be done and then i can eat that i've got a vegetarian toad in the hole which is from aunt bessie uh, so thank you aunt bessie for doing <laughs> that for me it's really nice by the way um so yeah, i'm gonna have my dinner then i'm gonna watch a bit of tv i have got a show on that i absolutely love which is really cringy and i don't care it's called the mars singer um and it's just brilliant it's so much fun um nathan doesn't really watch it obviously but he'll look up at the odd occasion just to see who's who but i'm just obsessed with the mars singer take it off take it off who's under the mask anyway so you're gonna watch that after that and dinner we are gonna have our games night so we have got games planned for the evening um so we'll show you as we go to play we'll show you what games we're gonna be playing and stuff um so yeah and then after that eventually i will get to do some reading because i feel like i've not read all day which i haven't read all day but i've been busy i feel like today's been really like busy doing bits and pieces but let me show you i have this gorgeous thing that i've got on ebay this is like a book pouch. I don't know what else to call it, a little book pouch. Uh, well, I say little, it's quite big because I've got a hardback book inside here. And look, there's still plenty of room in there. Um, so yeah, originally this is from Illumicrate. If you don't know what Illumicrate is, it's a monthly subscription kind of book themed box. And I do get those now. I had my first box in December, which I did an unboxing for. And I'm due my January box at, I think, the end of the month or 20th, something like that. Anyway, but when it comes here, I will be doing an unboxing with the Illumicrate box. But originally this was from like an old box, but people put stuff they don't want on eBay. And I'd seen this in a video, someone was doing an unboxing. I was like, oh my God, you know, that pouch is cute. Went on eBay and yeah, found it. So have a look at this. It's so pretty. Like I literally, I love it. Do I need it? Probably not. I could just come down at night and take my book with me in my hand. But I don't know, I love just kind of putting it in the little pouch and stuff. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's a little quote here that says, where is human nature so weak as in the bookstore? It's very true, especially for me. Um, but yeah, so my book is inside here. So eventually, at some point this evening, I will be doing some reading and finishing this book off. So I have took the dust jacket off because when I read a hardback, I, I don't like the feel of like the dust jacket kind of sliding about. Um, but yeah, look at this side of it is just stunning. Look at the spine. So they've got the train there. So it's called the Circus Train and it is by, let me turn this round. So it's Amita Perica, that's how I'd pronounce that. Um, honestly, it's so good. I think I told you about it this morning, but yeah, it's just historical fiction. I did think it was going to be more kind of like, um, like fantasy magic, but it's actually more kind of 
magic as in the circus magic so but it's just so it's so emotional and so good lots of shocks and twists and everything as well and drama family secrets and of course a magical circus kind of thing magicish magicish anyway so that is my current read i'll definitely be reading that um i have a new book to start as well when i finish this one which is on the table um i was kind of contemplating on what book to start next but i'm gonna go with hellbent by lee bardgoo bardgo bardgoo um because i really love her books ninth house was so good and this is the sequel to that so as soon as i've finished circus train i'll be on to um hellbent which has a really creepy cover it's really creepy it's like a weird demon rabbit on the cover i don't like the cover at all <laughs> but i hope the book's better than the cover anyhow um so yes i will see you in a bit and i'll show you as i say some of our games we've got that new nightmare for christmas game to play um hopefully i'll be able to do it i mean it does say for like what five plus or something so i should be all right um but anyway i'll see you in a bit nathan has treated himself to a cheeky cheeky takeaway and it is cheeky it's cheeky a weekend takeaway isn't it takeaway for ages uh, it's a uh... Taco Bell. Because it's only just opened. It has. Only recently opened in South End in the High Street. And actually the service was quite quick yeah. to delivery. It was from Uber. Uber. Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Can we show us inside? Yes. Let's delve in. Quite smells nice. Mmm. <laughs> so we've got chips. Chips. Do you want to explain? Because I have no so idea what got this is, apart from the chips. A burrito. This is the spicy hellfire. Mega spicy burrito. Are you going off to the Hellfire Caves yes. to eat that? <laughs> We've got the taco with beef, oh. cheese, lettuce. Obviously, I wouldn't eat it because it's meat, but seasoned, it smells nice. Seasoned fries. What is that? Churros. Oh, is that a churro? And caramel okay. sauce with them. Cool. That's actually nice. And I like the little little yeah, box. It's like that. a little meal box. It's like a little packed lunch. Yeah. <laughs> well, enjoy your Imagine takeaway. Imagine this is a packed lunch at school. Better than my little one that I used to have. Yeah. Cheese sandwich and um, a bag of crisps. It's only the masked singer. <laughs> Nathan's like, ooh, ooh. But I love it. So, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> right. So... The games night is now going to commence. Are you Let's excited to play with me? I'm excited to win. <laughs> this is the array of games. Yeah, Apart games? from the Mario Kart. Mario Kart's on the telly. That's sorted on the telly, um, on the Switch. But we have Ludo, old school Ludo. And this is the new game we're going to play. Making Christmas. Making Christmas. <laughs> Making Christmas Making time. Christmas. Song, but yeah. Is it? Yeah. Da, da, that's da, a different da, da, song. Da, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, that's the song from the beginning. Making Christmas is when they're making the oh, Christmas right. stories. I've only seen it once. Yeah. Okay. And this is the game we're going to play now. Now we're not going to film our gaming, so that's just like a couple of times. But we are going to film this because you know there's a bit of a gamble in it. So this is from Poundland, <laughs> Tumbling Disco Bobs. Well. You've already got your eye on the purple one, you said. You think he's That makes win. me sound like a bit of a pervert. you got well, you my are. eye on him. You are. Not really. When it comes to Disco. My disco. <laughs> Do you remember that song? Let's disco. Take into my... That was from Eurovision. Dance alone. Dance alone. Dance alone. Dance alone. My disco. Anyway. So what 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 is this? It's kind of how do we describe it? Sticky people, you throw them at a window and they stick their way down. They kind of go bloom yeah. right down. And the the game as such is we're going to have one agency wins basically. Yeah. That's this game. Do you want to put money on it or is no, it just, no, just, just for fun. fun? Just for fun, sure. <laughs> Little gambler here. So I want yeah the purpley blue one. Let's do good. And you'll have in the orange one. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> good luck. Good luck to you. Oh. Mine's catching up. Oh. Look, come on. Come Shine on, Orange Boy. Oh. Yeah. Orange Boy wins. <laughs> oh, he's still going, look. Okay, everyone. <laughs> Games update. Shock horror. 
Nathan won Mario Kart. That makes a change, doesn't it? I was surprised. Yeah, right. Um, no, it's good, though. I nearly won one, but you just come right at that end of it. Ah, you run angry. past me. I did get a little bit angry. So, yeah, um, I won Ludo, though. So I'm still the reigning you Ludo, the Ludo champ. champ. And what are we doing, Mikey? Who am I making Christmas? Me. Oh, of course, yeah. Sorry. You're just trying to claim another win there. <laughs> me? It's me. It's me, you know. So, yeah, it was good. Um, so the plan now is I'm going to literally get this book finished because I still haven't read. I can't believe I've not read all I day. Know, all day. You've been very busy. But apart from my book, I've also got um, the new issue of Cosmopolitan. Uh, so I'm going to have a little flick through that. And this is my going to be my next book. Look at this. Oh, it's such, it's such a creepy cover. So I'm just giving you a trigger warning, okay? That is such... I think that's one of the worst covers I've ever seen. It's horrible. Like, it freaks me out. That face. Ooh, it's, what is it? It's like a demon rabbit or something. Yeah, Ooh. Evil bunny of doom. It's horrible. But it is called Hell Bent. They have to go into hell, I think, in this one. So, yeah, this is uh, going to be my next read. But at the moment, I'm quite happily enjoying the lovely oh, the lovely um, circus train. So, yeah. Anyhow, I'm going to end the st uh, stream. I'm not live. This is a vlog. Oh, my. I'm really, like, messed up my words a lot today. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to end the video now, so thank you for watching. Please click like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out my other channel, Minxlaw123 ASMR. All the links to my social media are down below in the description box. So come and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads. And I do have a throne wish list if you care to spoil me or treat me. Please do. I've added some new bits and pieces to the list as well. So, yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.